People who grew up with strict parents, what was their most unreasonable rule? I was called at a friend's house at 11 p.m. at night because I left two t-shirts slung over the chair in my room versus hanging them in my closet. I had to go back to my house and then I was grounded for a week. Upon getting home, my mother had gone through my entire room and tossed every item out of my dresser. She claimed they were messily put in the dresser. Fun stuff. My mom was very strict about the ratings of movies and video games. One year for Christmas a relative gave me a copy of Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire for the Nintendo 64. It was a T-14 rated game and I wouldn't be turning 13 for another four weeks. My mom had my dad drive me to Toys R Us to return the game. We walked into the store and over to the games and he had me pick out an E for everyone rated game. We proceeded to check out and as we went to the car he handed me not only the new game but the game we were supposed to have returned to buy it as well and told me not to let her catch me playing it. Not my parents but I had a friend who got it pretty bad. If you want to play for one hour, you have to also practice piano for one hour. These and other such rules were posted on his bedroom door. Timed music practice is the dumbest thing. If you want to put your child student off the instrument forever by making it feel like an unbearable chore, that's exactly the way to go about it. I read an article somewhere by a piano teacher who instead advocated setting goals to be attained by next week's lesson. Doesn't matter if it takes you 15 minutes or 4 hours, but you'd better have done it. It's much better preparation for the world of employment too, where a decent boss will care far more about results than effort. Also, if your kid has clearly had enough of lessons, then for fuck's sake let them take a break for a year or so, or even without any intention of returning to it. Maybe they'll pick it up again of their own accord at the very least, they're more likely to do so than if they'd been pressured into carrying on with it long after it stopped being enjoyable. I wasn't allowed to say I died on Mario. I lost one of my chances to succeed. I had a friend who wasn't allowed to say the word stupid, and tried to report me to the teacher when I said it. Teacher yelled at me and then told me it was okay in private and not to say it around that one kid. Nice guy though, just had a helicopter mom. Thanks for all the support. For anyone who thinks I'm shitting on the guy, let me remind you he was a very close friend. I eventually caught onto the concept of a helicopter mom thanks to this kid, so I just rolled with all the weird things his mom made him do. I also remember he would complain about the school lunch because it was too unhealthy. My dad didn't believe in periods. And when I cried that I needed feminine products gave me food stamps to buy them. I was humiliated. My parent were pretty slack on everything except one thing. No video games console ever and no online games on the computer because that how you get virus and make the computer run slow. So I was playing my MMORPG when they were sleeping, in a hidden file, in a file, in another file, in another file, and I was changing the appearance of every file icon. My mom's curfew was 7 p.m. and her brother's was 12 a.m. Her brother was about two years younger than her and my granddaddy's logic was that girls get themselves into more trouble than boys. My poor mother only ever attended church functions for fun until she graduated from high school. My stepmom decided that I was using too much shampoo, she would get a little medicine cup before my shower and pour the designated amount into it. It wasn't ever enough because I had hair down to my butt. I also wasn't allowed to use conditioner. Screw her. I wasn't allowed to cross any streets until middle school. Thus, my best friends were the ones who lived on the same block as me. When I was in fifth grade I wrote some stuff in my diary about masturbating, and like a month later, my mom went through all my stuff. She would randomly go in my room, tear it apart, I'd always get in trouble for something, and then I'd have to clean up the mess and be grounded for whatever amount she felt like that day. So anyway, she found that diary entry. She picks me up from school and won't talk to me. I get home, my door was removed from my room, that diary entry was taped on the wall, 
and I was threatened with a belt if I didn't answer all her invasive questions. Fucked up. Mom hits me with kitchen utensils and yells that I am not allowed to put my hands up to defend myself from her strikes. I was am not allowed to do the following, use the washing machine, wash the dishes, pull the weeds, vacuum outside of my room, I must ask to use the vacuum, I can't cook a meal, I can't have the remote, I get instructed on how to use the microwave that I've been using for years and if I ask where we are going I get told out and I have to dress in jeans, a shirt and running shoes no matter how hot because he doesn't like shorts, and no jacket no matter how cold. We could not listen to music with guitars in it. I will never forget the day my brother was listening to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, and my father took the radio and threw it through the window. Spent my childhood listening to Richard Marks and Michael Bolton. Thanks dad. We couldn't go sledding during the winter or any other season, obviously because my mom was a neat freak and didn't want snow slogged into the garage. So, no snow playing of any kind, really. Never built a snowman. Did go sledding when I was an adult. It's pretty great. All of our clothes in our closet had to be arranged by color, descending in order by shade. So, for example, midnight blue at one end of the blue section and tar heel blue at the other. There was a system in place for colors too, so if the yellows were by the purples, for example, there'd be hell to pay. No shoes on in the house under any circumstances. Was super uncomfortable when my brother's friend, who had prosthetic legs and always had shoes on, came over and didn't take his shoes off. Mom got really mad and confronted him. No Legos or puzzles allowed, as they make messes and look like disorder. I fucking love puzzles as an adult. One of my favorite hobbies. 30 minutes of internet time a day and 99% of the time, that was supervised as in mom looking over my shoulder and commenting on conversations. We had web TV, RIP, and when they weren't home, they would literally lock the keyboard in a toolbox. My sis and I could never have friends stay over because the house is a mess. No amount of cleaning satisfied mom, because the real reason was she wanted to be able to fight with my dad at will.